Hey guys, my name is Brian and welcome to another Firebird Friday episode. This week, we need to get all the rust off these hood hinges. But just how the hell are we gonna do this? I'm about to show you. We're gonna use water on some rust, a little bit of washing soda, and a little electricity. <laughs> All right, so what I have is a five-gallon plastic bucket from our friends over there at uh, Harbor Freight. And in there, I have two rods connected by a piece of wire. Those are going to be our anoids. And then here, I have a broomstick cut in half with little, little notches to where it will kind of hold itself into place. And then wire suspended down to there. That's going to be our first thing. Next thing we're gonna do, and there's water in there. That's your uh, water. Let's grab that soda wash. All right, guys, I wanted to show you what that stick was for. With little notches cut in it so you can put it in there. I use it for a little basket that I made out of just some chicken wire. And you just basically, I just take bolts and nuts, and whatever I need to. I'll throw them in there. Then stick this into our solution and then hook up your negative back to here and then because all that's attached with wire and then that's connected as well so that it's touching do that and that's how I get some of my bolts that are really rusty that will fix that as well all right so this is what we need this is not baking soda this is their washing soda so make sure you get this you'll find it in the probably the bottom aisle of your supermarket in the uh, laundry soap detergent aisle but make sure it's this one right here and you're going to want a tablespoon for every gallon of water now we have a five gallon bucket so we need five tablespoons in our solution so let's go pour this in and we'll move on to our next step you don't need to be super precise just kind of eyeball it oh that's one and a half two three, four, five. Now we're just gonna mix it up. So you get your two rods, you tie them in with some baling wire on both sides here. Then you suspend a piece between those two Use baling wire, not uh, copper. Copper's not good for this. I also use some of it down here to hold it. Next, we'll get our brace. So we have our part. We're just gonna stick it in there. As you can see, it's not quite gonna fit all the way in there. So we'll have to do half and half. So with that, Let's get our charge. Next thing you need is just a simple battery charger, even just a little trickle charger. You're gonna take your two leads here. You're gonna put the negative onto the pole there. So it's gonna come across there. You're gonna take your red or your positive and clip it. Try to get some to there. So that way, it will all come together. Now let's plug this in and let's see what happens. All right, let's plug it in, see if anything blows up. It goes without saying, do this outdoors where you don't harm yourself. What's gonna happen is that electricity and the water and the um, soda is, is going to create a chemical reaction that's gonna eat off the rust. So you're gonna see it bubble and everything else. Make sure you're outdoors, make sure you're being safe about this and uh, keep pets away from this. Now you just uh, grab yourself a uh, cold one and relax. Give this an hour or so. All right, it's been an hour. Let's go ahead and kill power to our charger and let's pull this out and let's see what it looks like. You can see it's pretty rusty in there. Bring that close to the camera. That's after an hour. I probably shouldn't be touching that. But uh, I'm gonna flip it over and dunk this side 
and put it back in for another hour. Look at all that rust in the water. Woo wee, let's pull this out. Let's see what she looks like. All right, so it's not 100% just yet, but I'm gonna throw it back in for a couple more hours and see if I can't, but you can already see there's gunk that's cleaned up off that. So I think maybe leaving it in for another hour on both sides and then pull it out, put uh, some lube on those pieces and then paint this black I think we might have something. So let's put it back in for a little bit longer and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Guys, so it's been another couple hours. Let's go and take a look at uh, what this looks like. Disconnect all this. Oh, wow. Look at all of that. Let's uh, wash this off real quick and see what she looks like. All right, guys, here's our finished product. I went ahead and spray painted it, and it is bright and sunny here in Phoenix, so this thing is gonna dry up in a little bit. But essentially, that electrolysis will take care of all that rust, give you basic back to metal. Shoot it with some primer, then uh, shoot it with your favorite color of paint, and you have a part almost as good as new. All right, guys, that will wrap up this Firebird Friday video on how to remove rust using electricity. Hope you guys liked it. If you're a subscriber, thank you so much for watching these last few years as we've uh, built momentum on this project and the Porsche. If you're a new subscriber or you're thinking about subscribing, if you're into classic cars, especially Porsches and Firebirds, why don't you stick around, subscribe, and we'll see you next Friday for another issue of Firebird Fridays.